Hello friends, in the last video we saw various applications of printf. So just like printf, scanf also has interesting issues as well as uses. We will explore various uses of scanf in this video. So have a look on this following simple code. Now can you guess the output of this code if the input given is as follows a space bar b now most of you will be thinking that a simple question is being discussed here but let us examine the execution of this code to judge the usefulness of this simple question so let us execute our program Let us give the same inputs a space bar p. What do you notice? The first character a is inputted while the second character b is not shown here in the result. So can you guess the reason why character b is not printed here? The variable ch2 has been assigned a blank space as its value. Notice this blank space in between a and b. We pressed spacebar to separate our alphabets that is we separated b from a but this blank space gets read as ch2 and hence our character b is not printed. So can you now guess what could be the solution to this problem? Well one simple solution could be we do not press the spacebar between a and b. But what could be a better solution that our output is displayed even if we press the spacebar? So let us now modify our program to do so. It can be done by simply inserting a spacebar between 2% C. Let us now see the execution of our program. We give the same inputs as earlier A spacebar B. Now we observe that both our characters A and B get printed. In fact, you can read any other character also using the scanf instead of blank. Suppose you want to separate your two characters A and B by comma. So let us insert a comma between two percentage C. Let us now execute our program and see the output. Now see carefully the input given is a comma b and we get our characters printed in the output. Now such a facility of the scanf can be very useful in reading special situations. For example reading of date where day, month and year are separated by forward slash. For this purpose, the scanf can be written as shown here. Now, let us give the input in this format and see the output. So, we enter the date of our birth as follows. 10 slash 2 slash 1994 so the day is 10 month is 2 and the year is 1994 do you think that this way of reading would simplify our task actually this process saves us from the tedious task of reading the date or our any such format 
as a string and then extracting the day, month and the year as integers out of that string. Now another application of such a situation can be the input of coordinates of a point in such a format from the user. So instead of making a string to extract these x and y coordinates, we simply separate these coordinates by a comma in between percentage %d and hence get our output. Let us execute and understand it better. The format of the coordinates of point is displayed here. So let us now input in the following format. 2, comma, 3. Close the bracket, enter. And the program displays the x coordinate as 2 and the y coordinate as 3. So, in this way, the scanf statement is helpful. Let us see another interesting use of scanf statement. Can you guess what would be the output of this scanf statement here? I recommend you to kindly pause the video and try to find out the output of this following code. Let me make it clear that there is no syntax problem in this program. To make it easy, let me execute the program for you. I give the input as phantom man. Now what is the output that you are expecting? Let me execute it. The output shown here is E H A N T O. Can you now understand what this program is up to? Let me explain you. This program will read the string till alphabet M does not appear in the input. So, in our input, the alphabet M appears after O. And hence, our output printed is P H A N T O. The scanf statement reads the alphabets in the string array up to this alphabet M, avoids the printing of M, and prints the rest of the alphabets. As soon as M appears in the input, the scanf statement gets terminated and rest of the inputted alphabets are not read at all in this code. Please write in the comments section on following topics that we could come up with more interesting problems. Stay tuned and keep watching.